Hello everyone, how are you? Here we are, here we are. It's persuasive speaking, my friends. And I have a feeling that you've looked at the assignment and all the moving parts that go with this crazy assignment and you're probably freaking out. So listen, I just want you to take a breath. All right, it's gonna be fine. And in some ways, this assignment might be a little easier than informative speaking because now you know how to do academic research. I do wanna point out that no matter what assignment you're doing in college, Wikipedia is not okay, okay? Please, I don't wanna see that again in anybody's Works Cited page. If you're at a four-year school, that entire assignment would get kicked to the curb. It's literally a deal breaker. So when you're going through this assignment, it's exactly the same criteria as the informative speech, but you need to have more sources. So be sure that you know what you're doing, and if you need help, ask for it. We have a lot of good researchers here, and I also just wanna say thanks to everyone for their hard work. Your topics and informative were great. Your diligence in trying to get it done were good. There were some glitches and you handled them. And I think everyone's doing really great work. So don't choke now, right? Like keep going, keep going. This is the last big assignment and we have plenty of time to work on it. So this week, I want you to keep a couple of things in mind. Do you remember all the way back in the day when we first started class and I told you that every speech tells a story and the most important person in a speech is not you, the speaker, it's the audience. That is never more important to remember that than for persuasive speaking. So this is what persuasive speaking is not. Persuasive speaking is not standing up and bombarding everybody with your opinion, talking about how right you are and how stupid they are because they don't believe the same thing. Okay, sorry. That is not what this is about. More importantly, this speech is about finding out what your audience believes. What are they concerned about with whatever topic you chose? What did they need to know in order to consider another option? And it's hard sometimes to look at the other people in your audience, but if we all agreed on everything, we wouldn't have to have a persuasive speech, right? We'd be done. You wish, all right, we're not quite there yet. So when you go into this, it's more important that you learn about the opposition than it is for you to talk about yourself. All right, and that's hard. I recognize that. We're all faced with stuff that we don't wanna believe and we don't accept the fact. Everybody believes something that's not true. Everybody, even me, okay? So I want you to keep an open mind when you're doing the research and not just find a way to support your opinion. Learn about the people who need the solution that you're offering. Okay, so I wanna give you just a simple example. Let's say that you are going to give a talk, a persuasive speech about meditation. Okay, meditation is the solution, okay? It is a solution to a problem. So what are some things that you can think of that meditation might be a solution to? Exactly, anxiety, stress, finals, COVID, being quarantined, your family, money, et cetera, right? And for college students, there's a lot of stress, right? You have a lot of stress, and especially right now. So if you're talking about, here's a problem with college students, there's a ton of stress and this is what happens. They're not getting enough sleep. They're not studying enough. They're not retaining the information. They're stressed out, et cetera, et cetera. And you're advocating for meditation, Stress in college students is your problem, and meditation is the solution that you're advocating for. Now, for college stress or for anybody's stress, there's tons of solutions, but you're gonna prove to us why meditation is the right thing for this moment in time. Okay, that's it. It's simple. Here's a problem, here's a solution. All right, so this week we're gonna go over a lot of the strategies, a lot of the thinking behind persuasive speaking, and I'm gonna leave you with this one final thought before I move on and that is this usually conflict looks like this i'm on this side you're on this side and we're fighting each other who's right and who's wrong when people fight like this everybody loses everybody loses but if this is you and this is me and the problem is here then you and i are working towards a solution that we can both live with everybody wins i know 
I know. And you can think of times in your own life when that is absolutely true. You got in a fight with someone or an argument with your mother and people get their feelings hurt. And then you have to go back and you have to unwind the fight before you can even get to the original problem. That's what I mean. And if you're really interested in learning more about that, you got to take my interpersonal class because it's a great way to unwind your own communication. But in this speech, it's the same thing. You are not coming in to like, burn the issue to the ground. You're in this speech to find a solution and help people who disagree with you look at it from another perspective. Okay, that's good, huh? I know, I know, believe me, I get it. But keep it simple, keep it logical, be ethical, and let's do this thing, okay? Now this week I've broken this PowerPoint down into several different sections. So there's an overview, which we just did. And then you're going to see a section that's the organizational pattern, which everyone has to choose one. And then we've got a section on Aristotle, and then we have a section on Maslow's hierarchy of need, okay? And then I've also posted this entire PowerPoint for you to look at if you wanna go through everything and remind yourself. So I've, I've divided it up in little bite-sized pieces this week to help you sort of go through it at your leisure and also see to make sure that you're grasping every single thing. Okay? All right, that's it for now. Check all the videos out. Let me know if you have questions. I'll see you on the discussion board. All right, bye everyone.